Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Uh, we'd like to feature the famous or infamous Cracker Barrel Jump All But One game. You'll see these at every Cracker Barrel restaurant, they're on each and every table. And as you're waiting for your food to arrive, um, you can play this game and look, people literally go nuts trying to solve it and leave only one. Um, but if you learn these four patterns that I'm about to show you, you can solve this game with any peg removed. In other words, any starting point. Uh, just remember, if you don't get it at first, keep coming back to this video. All the hard work is done for you. It took me a while to figure these patterns out. So keep practicing until you master it to the point you'll be able to do this with your eye closed and look like a genius each and every time. Okay, let's get to it. The object of this game is to jump one peg at a time and leave only one. If you leave one, that's right on the game itself. If you leave one, you're a genius. If you're two, you're pretty smart. If you leave three, you're just plain dumb. If you leave four or more, you're just plain ignoramus. <laughs> ignoramus. Well, let's see if I can show you how to be a genius without being a genius. Or maybe you are a genius. Anyway, there are only four passive four patterns you need to learn to do this entire game. And I will show them to you one at a time. This is the one you want to see. This is the, the peg that you want to be left with at the end, the red one. And if you do it the opposite way, it will be the yellow one. So. Okay, so there's that diamond in the middle. Let's go see it. Now, that is the pattern you want to be left with before the end. It's a little diamond and two on this side. So from here, you go here, you go here, you go here, you go here, and you go here. Presto, and you're a genius. Let me show you some of the other patterns. Now what if somebody comes and says, I want you to start with this hole open. Okay, now keep in mind, it's starting from here, starting from here, 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 and here, is the exact same thing. So. Here's what you need to do. You need to bring it back to the same pattern as before. So, you go like this, like this, and like that. Now, does that look familiar? There's a little diamond. To make it easier, you could take it off and turn it around. Does that look familiar now? Right? Now, if, I hold it, if everything looks equal, this is the one that will wind up here. Or in the white middle, it's the one here, if you do it the same way. So, here we go. Now, you can take this and bring it here, or take this and bring it here. You want to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to keep it consistent. So it's easy. Presto. Once again, you're a genius. Okay. Let me show you yet a third way to do this. Now, 
Now, where if somebody comes and says, hey, I want you to start with this hole open. Okay, no problem. This is what you do. This goes here, this goes here, and this goes here. Now, does this little triangle look familiar? What you can do, you can leave it like this once you master the game so you don't give your position away, but until you get the hang of it and for practice purposes, rotate it to yourself. Now, doesn't this look familiar? Like the one in the very first game. So, you just do the same thing. Once you master it, there's different moves you can make to make it look a little different. Okay? So, the next move will be from here to here. Okay? And then here. And then here. Okay? But you could have switched it up. You could have moved this first, and it would look totally different. Um, and then what you do now is here, there, 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 and there. And there you go. You're a genius again. Uh, next one, I'm going to show you how to start with this one empty. And that's going to be totally different. That is the only one that is a totally different pattern. Now, realize that starting here, starting with this hole open, or starting with this hole open, okay, is the same thing, okay? So, let me load it up, and we'll show you that one. Okay, with this next pattern, next solution, once you learn this one, you will be able to solve this board game no matter which peg is removed, which hole you start with first. So let's say you're in a party and you want to show off. Um, okay, so this board is on the table. And um, somebody says, oh, but I've seen you do that before. Um, that's easy. Uh, you could tell, hey, you solved it. Or you could say, you know what? We Remove any peg you want. I'll start from any, any hole you want. So, so far we've seen starting from here, which is the same as starting from here and here. We've seen starting from here, which is the same as starting from here, 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 or here. And we've seen starting from here. Oh, we have a visitor. Okay. <laughs> We have a visitor. Where'd he go? Ah, I think he wants to learn too. Okay. So, uh, excuse me while I ask questions. Okay. <laughs> so, we gave the visitor a proper burial. And let's get back to the game. So, uh, so we're saying we've seen starting from here, here, and it's the same as there. What we haven't seen is starting from here. Oops. Now what? And this looks like the hardest one, but it's not. It really is not. So, I'm playing left to right. I'm going to move everything over to this side. This is the peg that will wind up here in the final move. Um, so keep your eyes on the red one. And right now, as it stands, you can only make two moves. You have here, you have here. If you're moving things from right to left, obviously this goes here. I'm going from left to right, so I'm going to take this one off and go there. So let's start moving things to the right side. This goes here, this goes here, okay? Now you'll see a pattern starting to emerge. Uh, now, of course, I need to get rid of this. I can't leave them there. So, only way to do it is chop this one and then bring them back. Okay? So, that, that is the pattern that you need to memorize. And uh, you can snap a picture of it and keep it in your cell phone. That's what you're aiming for. So, you want to move things from left to right. And you want to wind up with one, one, three, two, two. 
Once you get to this stage, it's pretty logical. You know this is your last move, so you don't move this pack. Okay, you need to get rid of this one. You never, it's, it's very, when you have three in a row, or all these in a row, you need to create space. So, how do I get rid of this one? Well, I need a, I need a hole here, I need a space here. How am I going to get it? Well, as sometimes it takes two moves to accomplish what you're doing. One, okay, two, okay, and three. Okay? From here on in, it's very easy. Um, it's real simple. Since you want to move this last, and you want to get rid you, you need to keep your eyes on this, okay? Um, if you move this here, okay, you can still solve it. Okay, there you go. You're a genius once again. Um, now, there was another way to do it. And let me go back to the 11322 pattern and uh, I'll show you the other way. Okay. So we're back to our 11322. Um, okay, one move you have to make this one. So this goes there. Okay, get rid of that. Um, so you need to move this. This goes here. Okay. And this goes here. Now, once you're at this stage, and it's, I mean, it's pretty clear right now. It's up. Before I move this here, but this one, this time I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm going to move this one. So this one goes there. This one goes here. This one goes here. This one goes here. And this one goes there. And there you go. You're a genius all over again. As you play, patterns start to emerge and you'll see certain things happening. Um, what you should, you should not do. But if you want the easy way out, here you go. I personally love when, when I'm somewhere and they leave that open. Um, I could solve all any, you could remove any peg you want and I'll solve it in whatever time it takes to jump every little peg. So, uh, hope this has been uh, an instructional video and uh, made you become a genius. Um, until the next video, um, which is going to be washing a Corvette without touching it. It's going to be a touchless car wash. So, please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you at the next video. Ciao for now.